If you could pick a song to be like a theme song of your life, what are you picking? Let's think about J. Uh, let me think about songs with no substance. He's so boring. boring. He's so boring, bro. Right, I don't want balls in my mouth when I'm eating. The gag one. I'll show you afterwards. Uh-huh. That is mental. Yes, please, daddy. Uh, Come at us, aliens. Yeah, you green. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to a brand new episode of the Atypical Podcast. We are in person again. Yeah, yeah. We're racking it up. Come on. Subscribe. Okay, how is it? Obviously, Jay's not here. Ah, uh, standard Shocker. procedure. Nothing's new there. I think someone has got an Excel tally of how many he's missed. Let us know in the comments below. How many How many of you guys missed? Uh, maybe like two. Actual two. episodes. Yeah. A few. I feel uh, like. You know, what? we're, we're going to count House of Dragons recording this far. Oh, oh good Jay's show. missed about 56. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jay's attendance is poor. We've got people here in the audience today. We've got Sonal, Sharji, and Usman. So shout out to them, helping, yeah. us, uh, helping us up and stuff. But yeah, without much. further ado, let's get into this, lads. Well, go on. Um, first topic of the day. Oh, no. <clears throat> go on. Drugs. Okay. You want me to start? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on. Oh. <clears throat> so, how was your trip? Oh yeah, that's oh, true. For actually, fucks. are yeah, you serious? Is that is true. true. It's true. It's true. Right. Break well, it down. Tell us exactly why you're not coming to Japan with us because you prioritized this holiday uh, listen, over uh, Japan, no, which uh, is a factual <laughs> conversation me and Hamza had with this guy. And let me just reiterate: he said he planned his whole year of expenses, and this took priority. Yeah. No, not just this. Other trips. No, no, too. stop. Mm. And other trips. Shh. And other trips. That's it's not, true. Let's not move. I booked scope. them as well. Stop. Stop. All right. So basically. Uh, for the people listening that do not give a shit, I went to. Hey, I hey, went hey to that's everybody. Exactly. That's, yeah. what I'm that's all the tips. <laughs> that's everyone, bro. That's all the tips, bro. Yeah. Uh, I went to India recently uh, for a week. I went to uh, see my grandparents, visit them, um, and yeah, essentially that's all that happened. And it was a really good trip. And uh, back to you. Yeah, no, but son. what did you actually do on holiday? <laughs> did you do Same like? Did you do like eat, pray, love style? Like find yourself. It was actually sick. We um, did yoga. Did you become I a did, yogi? I did, I did some yoga. Yeah. <laughs> I did some actually, yoga. I did some yoga with my granddad. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Yeah, are either. you satisfied? Did now? you try Kama are you Sutra? Happy now? Did you try any Kama Sutra positions? With my grandparents. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you do? Relax yourself. I mean, when, when in Rome, right? When in yeah. India? <laughs> when, in, when in Haryana? Are you sure you want to talk about fucking family? <laughs> <laughs> when in Haryana? Hey, hey, hey. hey. <laughs> <laughs> As a matter of no. fact, we are. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was good. Um, so I went to see them. I saw my, like, on the first day, I did absolutely nothing. Just chilled with, uh, with the grandparents. My cousin came to see me. I hadn't seen... She actually used to live in Belgium. So oh, I hadn't nice. seen her in like 10 years. But <coughs> that was really fun. And then the second day, my granddad organized this fat party with like... It was like a, a lunch where all of my family came to see me from like my, my mom's side. Center of attention, yeah? It was fucked. <laughs> I was shivering. Were you on bro. a stage? <laughs> Pre- I might as well have been, bro. Yeah, microphone. <laughs> I might as well have been, bro. It's I might as well A solo fucking bar. <laughs> but no, it was it was really fun. I got to see everyone in one go. <laughs> <laughs> one what? <laughs> one ergo. <laughs> and yeah, it was sick. Um, caught up with a lot of people. Um, it's sick because I hadn't been Indian in like over 10 years. Yeah. Nice. And going back this time, it was nice to like actually go back as a adult. an adult. Yeah, no, 100%. That was the yeah. same with me. I, back, I went back in 2018 to, obviously not to India, to <laughs> Pakistan. <laughs> um, and that was the first time I'd been when I was actually like adult-ish. Yeah. Ish. And you like care a bit. 18 at the time, but still. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah, it was good to like actually spend time with my Which family. I was 20. <laughs> I'm older than I thought. Was. What? I was 20 at the time. I wasn't 18, bro. I'm older than I thought. Oh, it's 2018. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, no, it was sick. Um, I think it's changed, bro. India's changed a lot, man. Like they're like it's a lot more advanced now. There's everyone's got money. Everything. <laughs> well, honestly, some people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it was also like it's also different because like actually not to like make it like funny. It's one of the thoughts that I actually had. I journaled the whole thing like when mm-hmm. I was out there, right? And one of the I'll end it with this, but one of the last thoughts that I had was how for a long time I felt it was difficult for me to be proud of being from there because of the corruption, the politics, all that kind of stuff. You're, not making, it, it you're not making it easy for me, bro. <laughs> Let's not take it there. <laughs> Why would you be proud of being okay. Indian, brother? <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> but it's hard for any, anyone in that, nah, in yeah, that area of the area your, of the your world your conclusion right? was you're still not proud <laughs> <laughs> England, <laughs> England, <laughs> England, England. Um, but it was just a good way for me to like I felt like um, I realized that it's okay to be proud to be Indian but not agree with the politics like I hate the fucking shit that goes on there but yeah, I'm still yeah, proud yeah, to yeah. be like I had a, I had a feel it was hot it was difficult to be like happy to be from there with the, th- the things that happened there. oh 100% 
But then now, and it must be the same for you guys yeah, too, yeah. Pakistan. But like that's what I'm saying. With like, Britain, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Even still, <laughs> to be honest, with you. not Britain. Yeah. <laughs> no election, don't forget to vote. <laughs> Oh, we're gonna do an election special. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. we'll yeah. get we'll we get at the polling station, bro. We'll get our we'll get our um, friend who worked in Parliament. Mm. Oh yeah, election special. You, you guys ain't gonna care about that. Yeah, no bro. chance. Audio guys. only. <laughs> Audio centric pod. But yeah, no, it was cool. just um, a good way to like reconnect with roots. Um, to answer your question, I did I did go out a bit. I saw like I, I went to one of your lots places, bro. That's crazy. I went to uh, I What's went to, uh, I went in <laughs> India. Yeah, in India. Oh. It's called Charminar. If anyone doesn't know what it is, it's like this really big monument, um, and it's it's really sick. Like uh, predominantly a uh, a Muslim area. Hyderabad mostly is like it used mm. to be run by the Nizams of Hyderabad. And funny fun fact has the best biryani in the world. Just saying. Um, well, look it up. I'm just well. saying. Just say by the way. I had it. I had the biryani from there, bro. I shit you not. Am I just it was biryani the best in a veggie thing, country. Best thing that I've ever had in my entire life. But it was made by you people, so it was. Obviously, like, but, yeah, yeah, but Indians are not the same, isn't it? <laughs> he don't even like biryani. Uh, uh, actually, he don't even like it. Actually, yeah, but he doesn't know. You change it. your mind now. I've changed my mind. This guy is so temperamental. Because no, 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 no. isn't he the one that started a whole conversation about it? Yes. Listen, it's because a biryani itself is okay, but it's the fact that I had all those little pepper balls and ginger stuff and all that. It's like I want to eat my food without putting it through a sieve beforehand <laughs> so as long as it's a simplified recipe like you can put all that stuff in there like crush the pepper and then mix it in rather than have the balls right i don't want balls in my mouth when i'm eating okay hey hey so hey, hey, maltesers yeah not everyone yeah well <laughs> yeah so you know i've come around to you uh, should, oh that's a bang all right i want to come back to that How many remember yeah. stat rank balls we're going to come back to that stat rank balls. someone put someone put a pin on that yeah and uh, we'll come back to that hoshi you know yes. from your journal it's getting yeah. exclusive how many days right. was it in? How, i was how many there days were i was there five days all right, pick a random day. No, and let's six, see what his notes were on that random day. Yeah, channel that. Channel that. Three. Three, okay. Day three, yeah. Actually, no. You were there six days? Five. Like, Five. It was a few days. Three, three, three. Okay, I went to... Me and my cousin went to a mall, uh, bought a couple of presents for the family, for the girl, blah, blah. And that was the day, actually, that I got picked up by my cousin. We, we went to a brewery. Had a sick catch up. Like, I hadn't seen this guy. I used to play like fucking Mario on his like original Nintendos and stuff mm, like that yeah. back when I was in India. You're stuff. old, bro. Bro, bit old. And then we no, went no, to. No, no, no. That's just the, the technology they had. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we yeah, had yeah, PS4s yeah, yeah. and shit. Yeah, they yeah, had yeah, yeah, GameCubes yeah, yeah. back then. It was 100%. Yeah. 100%. And then, <laughs> and then we basically went out to a couple bars and stuff, which was sick. Um, th- bro, their bars are 10 times better than anything in London. Like oh. they're huge. Their breweries are huge and insane. Like really good food, really good prices. And then from there, we went to this pl- this fucking back alley place, right? Mm. And I was like, why the fuck are we here? I do not want to. I want to go home in one piece. That's where one piece. Shout out to me. That's where. <laughs> that's where we had the biryani. It was called Shag House or something like that. Yeah, yeah. brother. I shit you not. It's absolutely amazing. I had chicken biryani. Had lamb biryani absolute i've never tasted anything better in my entire life i shit you, and i was like i'm skeptical i'm skeptical in the first that's your great like, dish now what are you saying that's the best thing you've ever tasted or just best no no, no biryani? best biryani okay. yeah yeah and i was like i everyone always hyped hyderabad biryani they were like oh you need to have it you need to try it my parents I, to be fair so i've heard about it as well to be fair brother it is different gravy yeah. i was like this is insane and then after that we went to get ice cream Funny story, this is when we went to get ice cream, but apparently after a certain amount of time, you're not allowed to sell past a certain time. Like it was like 12, 12 in the morning and you can't sell past that. F- police rolled up to the shop and basically said to everyone there at the time, we were in the car at the time. Mm. I have a video, I'll, put, I'll send it to you. They basically said, everyone get out and start closing the store. I was like, so we can't get ice cream then? They were like, no, it's all a fucking act. So everyone apparently hides when the police leave. They come back later. And apparently the police are in on it. They, they know it's going to happen as well. So you got theatrics going on over ice cream. About everything, bro. About that whole entire so road shop. So it's shots. a whole act. It's just this whole panto place. Uh, apparently it so. happens all of Asia. Like it's, it's just like, if it's... What's the, why is there a 12 o'clock rule? I don't know. I think it's like after a certain time, you can't, you can't sell past a certain time. Mm. You're making like... Cinderella rule. Some bullshit. Man. Yeah, literally a Cinderella, Cinderella rule. Cinderella rule. It's some bullshit. But it was hilarious just to like be in the car and they were like, it's fine. I was like, bruv, let's just go home at this point. My cousin was like, just just wait i come back and next minute everyone's gone back into the shop and buying ice cream i was like this is fucking jokes but um yeah it was really good and then after that yeah just went home and the next day i was visiting my paternal grandparents so i just slept early and um nice 
Yeah, good vibes though, man. Nice. Really good vibes. Very emotional when I was leaving. My grandparents cried. <laughs> they never cry. It was just mad. <laughs> Damn. Um, but yeah, really good stuff, man. Really good fun. I feel like I did do something, you know? I'm not going to lie. But yeah, I feel like I just Aventus, don't remember what it was. An eventismal moment. Honestly, I don't... First one in 50 episodes and you can't recall. <laughs> did I actually do any? I, I swear I did. Something's happening. You're having your family come around soon. Yeah, no, I did that. Um, <laughs> there's anything else? I swear I did. You know what? I don't Last week? Talk about that if you want. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, no, I don't care about that. Um, this guy fucking spent two hours trying to throw a ping pong ball in a cup and yeah. he doesn't want to talk about it. It was more than two hours. It was more than two hours. Like we so went around Abe's behavior, house last horrible. week. We, oh, actually, no, you guys would have seen that because we recorded the episode 50 extravaganza bonanza there. Jay's birthday. Um, <laughs> Jay's birthday. So, uh, yeah. But no, other Emporium. than that, what? Extravaganza bonanza Emporium. Yeah, honestly, whatever happened in my life clearly wasn't that good. <laughs> so, I don't remember. But anyways. It, say. <laughs> it's his fault though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, get the name right, man. Yes, and it, bro. Let's Current. end it. Yes. Anyway, end. can I talk about Amsterdam? Yes. So Absolutely, yes. I went to Amsterdam. It wasn't really a trip because, you know, it's when you go on a trip with family versus to see family, it's different vibes, isn't yeah. it? So I went there. I was also working part-time, so I couldn't really do a lot of stuff. Um, the place that my uncle lives is really nice, but I tell you now, getting weird paranormal vibes there, man. I can't really? lie. Was it, I, how, how far was it from Central Dam? It's <laughs> like, it's literally in Central. It's oh, like a flat type thing. It was a house. Yes, yes. Okay, it's cool. like a two, three story like apartment sure, style. Sure, sure. So I was sleeping downstairs. Everyone was sleeping upstairs. And I'm telling you. Was what? it the ghost of Anne Frank? Uh, funny enough, Anne Frank's uh, thing <laughs> was like five minutes away. So maybe. Could be Anne Frank. Could yeah, be her dad. Anne Frank, man. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> that was one of the only places that was actually popular. Was Why Anne are you Frank's. laughing for? I'm shouting her out, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, shout out you. She's a loyal yeah. listener, man. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. What? Yeah, I was one step too far. She did. What? She did. <laughs> Did. Okay. Um, so um, yeah, actually, Anne Frank's house was pretty popular. Yeah, it was yeah. pretty funny because people just literally on the side taking pictures, standing. I'm just like, it's just an attic, isn't it? It's just a, it's just just taking pictures of doors. Really. It's, it's, it's not the, it's not the thing itself. Is is what it is what it represents. Like, represents exactly. Which is so what, obviously that is just. A house. Which is what do you want to explain? Bro, you've all studied history in GCC, bro. And Key Stage uh, 3. No, actually, they that. haven't. Some in Key Stage 2 and Key Stage 3, you learn about it, bro. When was the first time we heard about Anne Frank? I think it was, bro, it was primary young, school, man. like year four, year five or something. Hey, year four? We learned about, about it in secondary school. Blitz, around the time we learned about the war uh, and stuff. Yeah. Well, anytime yeah. you're going to learn about World War Two, you're going to learn about Anne Frank. Exactly. Is there anything you think in history's, in the history curriculum that we went through, which we should not have learned about? What is that? Is it just irrelevant or is that just wrong for that age sort of thing? No, colonization. <laughs> yeah. Should have been. It's, it's good. Oh, we didn't it's learn good. about that though. We didn't learn about that. Yeah, we did. No, we didn't learn. We about learned that. about the British Empire. We didn't learn about all the atrocities. Yeah, same thing. Isn't it? Um, nah. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I'll tell you some things we could have gone without. Who cares about um, what's his name? Freaking the guy who got beheaded, bro. Tom Daly. Uh, Tom Daly. <laughs> it's Tom Daly. It's Tom Daly. <laughs> no, Tom. 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 The guy who got his head chopped off in like the uh, Canterbury Cathedral and that. Uh, like ten, not ten sixty. That about the Hastings, but it was around them times. This sounds vaguely familiar. Thomas, Tom, I was about to say Tom Cleverly, but I swear he's a footballer. Definitely not Tom Cleverly. Um, I have no clue what you're talking about. Anyway, let's carry on. Right. Go on. Everybody down. in the room is completely dumbfounded by Hamza's suggestions. That's it's man, just that. history in it. Um, a fact in it. Hamza's a fact as usual. Yeah. So, Thomas, Tom, Tom Beckett. Beckett, I think it's Beckett. Oh, Beckett. Thomas Beckett. Oh, yeah. that does ring a bell. Yeah, I remember that. That does ring a bell, The yeah. guy who got beheaded in Canterbury. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, of course. How could I forget that you're one? You're right, you're right. Shit. Yeah, no way. No one else being beheaded Yeah, in and England. guess what he did? Canterbury Cathedral, beheaded, shot up. Well, what's the significance of it? What's the significance oh, I can't remember. I don't get that idea. I don't remember. But anyways. <sighs> All right. Yeah, we'll remove that from the curriculum because nobody remember that. <laughs> Anything else? I paid attention in school, evidently. <laughs> Nothing else in it. Anyway, yeah, anyway, cool. uh, back to Anne Frank's house. Uh, yes. So that was busy. That was popular. Amsterdam, uh, and you can probably attest to this because yeah. you've been. You've never been. Nah, I will one day though. I've got a couple of mates out there. Shout out, Nick. There were so <laughs> many bikes. Yes, it's the oh biking capital. God. And yeah. you know what? You, their roads were mad dangerous to cross. Because yeah, uh, just bare people all the time. Bare people constantly. Trams. The bike going left, right, trams while walking, and the cars. <laughs> Always he laughing at. <laughs> you can't ride a bike. I can't ride a bike. <laughs> <laughs> it's obvious. I forgot. <laughs> How could you forget? He's like, fuck, fuck. Every time they go back, like, shit, it could have been me. Could have been uh, me. Could've Wasn't. <laughs> Wasn't. But uh, yeah, the the traffic there is nuts. Constant bikes, nonstop. Yeah. They don't nice. give a 
poop, bro. They just go nonstop. They don't slow down for anybody. They, they just go. They don't have to, though. Also, Dutch people are mad rude from all the interactions. Oh, 100%. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. So, so that's, this is nuts. So, Hoshu went previously and he's like, yeah, the people there are good, whatever. Every interaction I had was terrible. Bro, Europeans are, you are the though? worst. We were from, <laughs> from Slav, bro. <laughs> Europeans are rich. <laughs> They were all extremely Bro. rude. And you know what's funny is we found there's so many British people, by the way, yeah. in Amsterdam. Yeah, yeah, all the time. So many, all the time. One of the people there, were one, of the uh, one of the workers there, some woman was British as well, from Kent, I think. Mm. And, um, Shout out to you. Kent, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And anyway, she was just like, yeah, they're all, they're all very rude also. Yeah. Um, Dutch, I had the complete opposite experience. Dutch yeah. people are notoriously known to be rude. Yeah. I yeah. had I was there I had the best time yeah, you I just, was I was so it was so easy to talk to your anyone mind was I was just there with the whole trip. <laughs> I was literally huh? your mind was just preoccupied the whole trip we'll it? come to that it was all a bit hazy we'll come to that reason. we'll come to oh, that oh that's another thing I went to Amsterdam I didn't get high yeah who does that anyway regardless though um, the people the people <laughs> were really nice bro I had yes. I mean it, it, it depends where you went what'd you do um, what did you actually do when you were out there, apart from Anne Frank's house? <laughs> just just went out in it, standard shopping stuff. Went to the Rax Museum. I went there too, and people were nice there too. They Maybe it's my It's just you, bro. It's just you. Yeah, 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 and this fucking energy. white girl from fucking Kent or something. No, there was there was a couple. In fact, we uh, the first thing is you talk to people. I do not believe that. No, but I'm. You talk I'm, to people outside of your circle. I don't believe it. And listen, <laughs> this is this is word for word. Uh, the f first the first interaction me. Uh, family had when we got off the Eurostar was the person the person there was immediately rude <laughs> well I'm not joking question. Not, uh, did they see your passport no they uh, in fact the question was oh where's the escalator or the lift or something and they I can't even remember I can't I'm it paraphrasing her <laughs> yeah this is all a figment of my imagination uh, she was like she was like oh yes we all speak English in Amsterdam wow. yes she, did, she literally did that really? the full condescending Karen action Poor immediately thing. straight off the thing that's yeah. why no, you're that's why bitch, you asking yeah. to speak English. No, no, no that wasn't oh, okay. that wasn't the context. It, oh, honestly, if you, if you said you asked that, I would have agreed with her. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, yeah. yeah. If you said, "Oh, do you speak English?" <laughs> the first thing. I have a question though. Did you get kicked off your Euros last year this time? <laughs> no. Oh no. Say, that yeah. only <laughs> happens with this guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that only happens with this guy. It was your fault. In though. fact, <laughs> in fact, uh, in fact, the, there was the person who we sat next to in the Eurostar, very interesting person, because she is like a doctor in so sociology or whatever. Oh, that's fake doctorate. And she was uh, basically uh, like an expert in fakes. In fakes? In fakes. What did I just say? What did you just so, say? I said fake doctorate. Yeah. That's, that's nuts. Right. <laughs> yeah. And on top of that, she was, people. she was specifically going to Belgium to like go to some De Boer's thing to see some diamonds of fake or not conference. Oh, like that. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, like some, yeah. Okay. Makes sense. Yeah. So, and yeah, guess what? She was British. Ah. Uh, so she was right. Fairs. But uh, yeah, Amsterdam was mid. Um, damn, no, I'm joking. Actually, it's no, actually no. really beautiful. It's <laughs> your damn. opinion, bro. It's damn. <laughs> damn. So you damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Amsterdam is a really beautiful city. Yeah, yeah. I think it's way more prettier than Paris, but simply oh. because I'm a big fan of the prettier like, than Paris. Yeah, that's great. Paris is fucking shit. Oh. But Pat, the architecture of Paris is beautiful. Yeah, the architecture is actually so. It depends amazing. what you mean by pretty. Yeah, <laughs> architecture is really good in Paris, but. I loved the whole canals, the way the whole oh, city yeah, is sure, built. Sure, sure, yeah, Every time you're walking, unique. you're basically seeing a river or a canal flow yeah, by. Unreal. Very beautiful. So All beautiful. the houses like on the, on the edge. You know what people say? Edge. It's like Venice, but with bikes. It's true. It is true. Do you know what people say? Is that, is that, is that fake? Do you know what people say? That's actually uh, true. PhD in sociology. People say it was the original New York. Wow. Really? Yeah. Yeah, you see Spider-Man. So he sees them everywhere. Anyway, he sees what everywhere. a dumb thing to say, bro. I'm <laughs> glad there was silence for that. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that my uncle's place is haunted because downstairs oh, yeah. I was getting some mad vibes, mad energy. Like, I want to know if any of the Tips fans know about this. They stop, okay. I stop with this bullshit. Bro. Any of the Tips fans, leave tips. in the comments down it's below. It's getting bleeped. Every time right? you say it, it gets bleeped. No, it doesn't. It does. I, when I was sleeping downstairs, sometimes I'd get this weird vibe where like there was something in the corner of my eye. Like constantly, the whole time. That's fucking weird. I don't know if you've ever felt that kind of feeling. I, I have, but when someone's actually watching me in real life. Right, like, right, right. No, you know when like someone's actually watching you and you, you, yeah, you, you feel you it and you look at it. Six yeah, sense. Yeah. Well, it felt like that every time I was downstairs. Like everybody else was sleeping, were the lights alone? were off. Yeah, I was That's alone. That's probably why though. You're you're kind of, those kind of you're, emotions you're, are enhanced when you're, you're alone. Your senses, are, your senses are heightened because it's a new area as well. Were you alone? Yeah. Hyper aware. That's literally what I just asked. He just asked that. Oh. This is what you, you mean. Deaf no, guy. I was, I was looking, looking at the camera set up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, anyway, um, <laughs> I woke up with like 
Bruises on my chest. Okay. Yeah, Yo. <laughs> no, we didn't. Yeah, I did actually. But to be honest, they weren't bruises. They were like red scratch ones stuff. Who knows? I could have just scratched that. What did But they're short, bro. Kept in were they short then as well? Yes. I cut them be- before holiday. Um, mm. But they were red marks and stuff. But you know, I've been in a haunted house before. True, he was. So yeah. I've got... Oh, familiarity with Should we that. not talk about it? Anyway, so <laughs> do we Anything really else? want to? Last time we talked about ghosts yeah, got kind of corrupted. Yeah. For, yeah, yeah. for the people listening, we spent, it was arguably one of one our of the best, best episodes. episodes yeah. 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 We say this every time. It fucking got, <laughs> my laptop did its audio thing and it completely got corrupted. But it was amazing. We talked about ghost stories. It was amazing. It was yeah, such it a good was, episode. But it was, it was, it was shit. Very what nice. can you do? All right, I've got a question. Yeah, yeah. No. All right. Last episode 50 we talked about if we could be a video game character yeah who would we be <coughs> yeah about. check that out, miss out. um i've got another one here yeah. if you could pick a song to be like a theme song of your life yo what are you picking willy bum bum what <laughs> what <laughs> excuse me what? Hey, that was really quick <laughs> what's the first lyrics of willy bum bum i got a little willy i put it in my bum oh yeah, that's, <laughs> it. that's classic that's classic that, honestly london that represents how she london well. underground I, I was about to say oh my God. I know people uh, <laughs> Underground London Steep London. it In useless London Underground Little wankers You're all wankers Yeah what are you saying? Um, <laughs> okay well, It defines a whole life yeah? Yeah it's just a theme song that represents your life Like you think you listen to the song You're like oh yeah my son I'm saying I'm walking on sunshine Because my name means the sun And I'm always happy Does it actually? Yeah Explains why it's so dark <laughs> It's contrast to the name I thought it? I'd get a better laugh bruv I've got nothing the audience loves it. Oh, well, the yeah, it. Uh, the audience, audience is cracking up. But these guys... <laughs> um, go fair, on, that you was go. a good one. You, you good know one. the questions, so surely you've got an answer no. for this. Tradition. What? Tradition. I, don't come, I come with the questions, not the answers. What is that? That's I'm a philosopher. Sense. I come with the He's questions, not the answers. He's a very nice person. <laughs> right. He's a really nice person. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and I, you know, it's funny because when I was doing the prep, I knew you were going to ask that question, so I specifically didn't do this that. This guy is such a weirdo. <laughs> no, listen, I'm, keep that same energy because I do have a game I've all got, based on my answers. Mm. I'm coming with authenticity. All right, I'm going to think about it with you. All right, calm. Let's think about it together. together. Um, so we'll be back in the okay, we'll see see the SpongeBob five minutes. My, f- my favorite song, but I don't know if that's, that's the thing. I don't know if it necessarily defines me. Go on. But, and it's also a romance song, so you're going to be like, no way. It's Ain't No Mountain High Enough. Why would I say no way? I think like about that's you a, that's, think about a, that <laughs> <laughs> that's a love song basically Marvin Gaye Ain't no mountain high enough oh, Ain't no river Low enough Flowing <laughs> Oh is that it? No. Oh shit <laughs> I think it ain't no value low enough Ain't no value right? um, But anyway uh, I don't know I'm trying to think I mean I don't know why I, I, asked, I asked this question Because I don't even listen to music So Let me guess Foxy. You're going to be you're gonna So be but you two Ed- As music connoisseurs should know I'm not a concert. I've said my own. I dabble. You've been to concert. I dabble. I've, I've said my <laughs> I skipped it for double yeah. reason. <laughs> that was that, that means, concert that as well. That means my credentials are removed. That was a con- concert as well. Yeah. I've, I've answered. I'm sticking I'm with I'm Walking on Sunshine. I remember it from Who being a, it? a kid. I'm Walking on Sunshine. I think it's called the oh, BG. No. Are you talking about that one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, right. it, it was played through my childhood. Sure. My name means the sun. And I feel like it's, I, I'll do the Lion King theme tune. Circle of Life. Because my name is Lion. Yeah, but you just copied Hosh's answer. Yeah. And I knew you were going <laughs> to go with that. As soon as he said sunshine, I knew you were going to go down that route. Ain't no sunshine when she's That's a good gone. song. That's a good song. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. Brother. This guy. You need, to, you need the, to do better, man. Someone, be, give him hate. Do so you know what? That we condone the hate. The fact that Massive hasn't come with an answer. Oh, I said ain't no mountain high off. That was my answer. Okay, can you explain why, though? Yeah. What's the rationale? Um, the we'll come to it in affectionate. Ah, see? Oh, like tease, like tease, that. tease. In a what? In the affectionate quiz. The attachment one, style one. Whatever it was, yeah. Oh, okay. He doesn't even know. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't done it yet. Yeah, I have. Oh, you have? Oh, yes, 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 yes. All right, so <laughs> moving on. Oh, shit, I need to do This it. guy, man. I don't listen to music, bro. I bring the questions. I'm going to have to answer it. You know plenty of songs, right? Just pick All one. Right, a song that represents my life. Pick you know what? Better, 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 better yet. Let's think about Jay. Oh, oh God, shout you might think about Jay. Jay. I'll think about myself. Let's think about Jay. All right, all right. Let me think of one. Uh, let me think about shit songs. No substance. Boring. So boring, bro. I What's a say, deadpan song? I would say just like white, oh, noise, white noise. Danny. Brown noise. White noise. Brown noise. Brown noise. Yes. Brown yeah. noise. Yes. Brown yeah. notes. Yeah, brown, brown notes. notes. Shout out to the original name of typical. Uh, I'd say Ice JJ Fish. One of them tunes. <laughs> Something just, about you, girl. Yeah. You don't need to I pretend the voice cracks. Yeah, you know. <laughs> 
You don't need to pretend them. Why is he putting them on? Yeah. Uh, oh, Jay's a... Yeah, let's think about Jay. Oh, by the way, if anyone in the audience knows a good song that, you know, that represents either one of us, especially me because I'm the one who needs help right now, feel free to shout it out. Oh, these, man. I yeah, think yeah. the people listening. No, uh, not the oh. listeners. I was like, they, we know they don't comment. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> these, man, point. would. Good point. Um, we got four let's listeners. Jay. Let's, let's break it down. So something mm, that's down. methodic. What, Jay? Yes. Almost something all that has, music is Something methodic. that's monotone. Huh. Something that only has one chord. Huh. Brown noise. White noise. Something yeah. that has. <laughs> you can pop it in the chat, by the way. If you Repeated guys lyrics. Over and over and over again. Oh. What's the opposite of like Benny Hill? Who the fuck is that? The Benny Hill is that the the, the the gag one. I'll show you after. Oh, okay. Just show you the oh, gag show one after. Gag off that's mental. Yes, please, Daddy. That's wild. Uh, okay. Can you show me now? Let's just make it happen, bro. Anyway, okay. um, we do have like a sort of like we're gonna have like some cast and couch set up soon. Anyway, so oh yeah, true, true, true. yeah. Um, Bugs, we sit there. Do you want to? Do you want? You got any idea? I was honestly hoping one of these guys would send something in. I'm not gonna okay. lie to you, man. <sighs> but they had they've been just as useless. Yeah, first. Heady one. J- okay, no better. Just, there you, just, you go. Done. You should know better to bring a fucking topic <laughs> and then also know what the answer is. Honestly, that kind of makes sense, you know. <laughs> that was fair, so thank you very much. I'm glad I you I hesitated did that. for the squad because I knew you would do that. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad. And then I committed. <laughs> and then it happened anyway. All right, Suck hold me. on. Do you have one? Do you have one that comes for Jay? For Jay? Yeah. Oh, I don't want to answer for him. <laughs> Can I? I'm going to just browse. You might uh, procrastinate in it. All right. All okay. right. How about I go to the toilet real quick? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, seriously, I need a piss. Do you actually? <laughs> no. Okay, we'll be like hashtags all over again. <laughs> bloody hell! Three uh, hours, bro. <laughs> Three hours. All right. Well, that was just that was just. I like that. Had, yeah, yeah, yeah. Next so time, going from songs. <laughs> all right. What drug? Do something else that Hashi likes. Oh, for fuck's sake! Drugs. I don't like this narrative. <laughs> so I've got this is uh this requires a bit of attention, yeah. Yeah. So, so uh, <laughs> I was listening to a podcast which uh, was basically it was on. Hopefully, this, it was atypical this past weekend. Oh, Just Theo Vons. Theo, shout out Theo Vons. Shout out Theo Von. Come on the pod, please. He's actually here. But is it Theo Vons, ladies Wait. and gentlemen? Oh, in the UK. Yeah, I, I don't know right. if he was. I don't know if he was in. Was it Apollo or something? I don't know if it was yeah, last week know. or this week. We were talking about this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah. Um. But yeah, so I was listening to it, and he did an episode with uh. Dr. Jeffrey Long, I think his name was, uh, and it was on near death experiences, which we'll talk oh, about on episode fifty. I wish his name was Re with J. I wish his name was Dr. Richard Long. <laughs> Dick Long, why? Dick, Dick Long. Long. Okay, fair. I'm just not immature. And so basically, yeah, we, are. Like that, yeah. we are. We are. We know. And so yeah, so basically, on that episode, it was always talking about near death experiences and stuff. And yep. the guy who does the near death experiences has a website where people can basically like submit those. But he was talking about this one called Erowid. Which is basically, yeah, where yeah, people yeah. basically um, submit their experiences. Submit their experiences with drugs. It's basically like a drug encyclopedia, right? It's amazing. And I thought this is pretty freaking cool, right? Not gonna lie. And so don't I, use drugs, kids. Yeah, don't. If you're gonna drugs. do I'm it, not right. trying to glorify this. No. It's not. It's not for glorification. Just do it correctly. Carry just, on. Just, just what? Just, just don't do it. Just don't do it. Or that. Um, be, be sober. See in punk style, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. One hundred percent. I disagree. And Carry so, on. <laughs> And so basically, I bought, I, I found a couple of stories, um, but then I obviously wanted to have a bit of a wider discussion, you know, yeah. because honestly, I can't lie, right? Obviously, a stuff for a law. They ain't gonna do drugs in it. No drugs, no alcohol. This guy, bro. CM Punk, innit? <laughs> Told right. you, yeah. Wakanda forever. <clears throat> yeah. He did but, this. So just, yeah, I did the yeah. CM Punk. Sure. But I can't lie. Hallucinogens, hallucinogenics have always interested My me. My fucking because. Lie. They just they blow they literally blow my mind right just the thought of them obviously I've never done it never so will they'll blow your mind up and um, and so <coughs> yeah I <laughs> yeah get to I it. just think I just think I just think it's mad interesting yeah because right, when you get it drugs, now read the description shut up, bro <laughs> okay so when you do the drugs it's still it's your mind that's yeah. creating is the the, the chemicals and the whatever in those drugs are altering you know your your brain and your brain is creating these visuals which to me is super interesting because that shows you the powers of your brain. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Right? Because obviously on every day-to-day, our brain, like, everything that we do on a day-to-day is just our brain on a day-to-day. We don't actually conceptualize how amazing it is the thing that we're doing. Like, yeah. We can process a million. Like, right now, I'm looking here. I've got a million things in my vision, mm. right? And I can process it. And I can understand it. But the, the things that you can do, which I will go through now, a couple that I found, and there was a bunch of others that I just kind of skipped through, but I didn't, I didn't pick or whatever. But... I'll go through it. Obviously, these are super long, so I'll just kind of TLDR it. But this one's on DMT, right? So I, I think from my, from my limited research, DMT and 
I'll there get was, involved, don't worry. Yeah, yeah, he'll get involved. DMT and uh, Salvia were two of the like strongest hallucinogenics yeah. that you can get. Salvia's man made though. What? Salvia's man made, I'm pretty sure. It's like synthetic. Oh, okay, yeah. sure. Mad. Um all right, so this one, DMT. The title is God for six minutes. Mm-hmm. Caught my attention. So <laughs> this person said um, he'd done DMT a bunch of times, but he was doing it by himself for the first time. <sighs> Already fucked. Yeah. So he'd done Already. it three times prior, and the fourth time he was doing it by himself. Oh, okay, okay. Um, so this is a saying. He was in a small room, lying in his bed. He had a black light. I have a black light. What does that mean? You just turn the lights off. UV light, I think. Anyways. Um, did some wild designs on my wall with some black light spray paint. UV light. Yeah. It was a very peaceful setting, uh, but he felt a little bit more nervous before this, probably because he was alone for the first time. So he took the first hit. Within five seconds, um, he, he had that loaded feeling. I mean, I don't know what he's talking about, he but um, very out of whack. So he goes in for the second hit and he held it. And as he <laughs> breathed out, um, he started to feel it sort of, yeah, take start to, start to hit. Um, all right. And then he goes, and by the way, the way these guys write this stuff out is so like profound, the way they write it, right? As I took the third hit, reality as I understood it no longer existed. Incredible details and intricate patterns danced all around this black space. I felt overwhelmed. I closed my eyes and was immediately greeted by these wild patterns and sequences which cannot even be put down on paper. I felt this tremendous sense of speed going through something. Different drug. (laughs) I heard the crackle of the human universe around me. The language these guys write is nuts. Terence McKenna tells no joke when he says it sounds like a cellophane being crumpled. Mm. crumbled, It was at this point that I was definitely frightened, but still in awe and astonishment of what was going on. I thought to myself, am I dead? I had no recollection of, of when the last time I took a breath, I was completely unaware of my heart rate, which was through the roof. After br- I'd love to see his Fitbit. After breaking through, I was suddenly in it. I was in DMT hyperspace. But this shit sounds so cool. This shit alone is making bloody fucking hallucinate. Um, the trip was so peaceful so far. Um, and then he broke through. Everything was still in a sense. Uh, whereas in the earlier stages, it was like chaotic beauty. And now it's like sort of calmed down a little bit. makes sense. Um, he said he notices something sitting on his leg. Um, <laughs> this is hilarious. It was this fat gnome toad like monster <laughs> the toad uh, <laughs> like monster but it wasn't harmful he just stared at me um, and all around me was this holographic grid in the brightest light you could imagine the colors were incredible deep and bright magentas pinks lime greens yellow and white if only jay was here you could <laughs> hex codes of all those everywhere i felt the sensation come from deep within me as i looked at my body i realized i was transparent and was emitting this absurd light and energy from me everywhere. It was pouring out of me and I was controlling it. I spoke in another language, what you could call an alien dialect, but I understood what it felt like. Thanks for that. (laughs) Yeah. My mind was operating in a different frequency. I began speaking visuals. Um, The entire room began to grid off in 3D and the sense was deep and the sense of depth and eternity of the structure was mind-boggling, like a cavern of infinite bliss and visual perfection. Um, He then sort of goes on to talk about he was frightened um he was tripping balls his friends were there they had like eyes going up and down their bodies um and then and then that was basically this guy's experience um and then he just talked about how much it humbled him and he sort of views dmt as being the key to transporting us across to an alternate universe but i think this stuff's just flipping cool i i don't know what you like what your lot's thought is on this type of stuff and do you think because I read some stories where I'm like, bro, it's like, it's got to be capping in it, bro. I'm getting like, I'm getting flashbacks to when we discussed that chat about the lamp story. The lamp, yeah. The lamp was, story. No, my man lived a whole life. Oh, yeah, yeah, And he yeah, realized, yeah, yeah. actually, no. Don't just, you're not going to turn around yeah, and say all this bullshit again the second time in a row. What I'm going to say is. This is the worst, like, quickly. Ju- yeah, this, yeah. This is the worst group of people. Yeah, for sure. That you could be speaking speaking about this. Yeah, for sure. But you, horseshoe. Yeah, yeah, but but him. <laughs> yeah, we can just we can forget he's here. It was like DMT. Is for me. Uh, <laughs> what I would say to this is you don't deny DMT, right? Even Joe Rogan's. Why do the all body, bro, these people always have to like proclaim it as this the greatest thing that they've ever experienced in their life? But if a million like, people it's always done it so, and they say it, then it's got to be true. Yeah, but like, why do you think praying? Is like the most funny you say that actually. Like, funny you say that. I don't know this hot take. See. I don't know this has to be cancelled out. So no, I say it, bro. It's hot but I feel like people who always talk about this DMT nonsense are always people who are like um, godless. 
Yes, faithless. As I was going to say, it's people uh, who like lack faith and they need to find some kind of like extra terrestrial, extra high dimension feeling somewhere else. It's funny you say that because a lot of them are, are based around God. I mean, this one was literally God for six minutes. There was another one where the person was like, I was sent above the heavens to the throne of God. Yeah, it's always ego death. I mean, is what's ego? What's ego it? Death, yeah. Is it God something? Is there another word for God it? Particle. That's DMT. It's no. God particle. But anyway, every all this <laughs> ego death nonsense is... um. It's not nonsense, but all this ego death stuff yeah, is yeah. always about them being also projected this spiritualization. And yeah, it's yeah. always spiritualization I, I based. Agree 100%. Every single time is without fail, and I always feel like that's interesting though. Without fail, what do you mean? Oh, by the way, I know a bunch of people that believe in God that have done it as well. Yeah, I know, but I'm saying that this is it's always like they always hit that next yeah, like, because spiritual it, that's, level. That's where it goes. But that's the whole point of the molecule. So the whole point is well, it's like whatever sort of thoughts and inner because i've listened to a couple of podcasts and stuff where they've talked about this type of stuff it's like whatever you're really trying to look for in a way is kind of what your body will channel through for you so one um one i think joe rogan was talking we're talking about hippies bro <laughs> well, joe this, rogan bro. was um can't do this, <laughs> no this unserious no guy point. there's actually no point um but like joe rogan was talking about it and he was like uh, <laughs> someone did it and when when they when they did it and i mentioned i think i mentioned this before they basically got transported back to when they were birthed and the umbilical cord was wrapped around their neck. Right, right, and they were right. watching that happen yeah, from yeah. the outside in. And then obviously they then talked through that story with their mom. And they're like, yeah, that's true, that's true, that's, that's true. That's an incredible story, that. This guy. You, you know take what? it seriously, <laughs> man. <laughs> me no, off. brother, I don't... Okay, okay what if I talk... I'll genuinely say it right here, right yeah. now. Atypical exclusive, all right? Back in my uni days, <laughs> I, was, I was wondering. I was wondering with the back of my uni days. You know, everyone experience experiments and you know tries different things. Yeah, I don't know if this needs to be cut. I don't know how it goes, but we'll see. We'll allegedly, see what I'm going, this yeah? is an alleged. Story. Allegedly, allegedly. This is your but friend. I, I never did DMT or you know, anything like that. That's like it's a it's like the most strongest psychedelic there uh, possibly You know, is. A mate, who did? I did. I know like people that know people and stuff yeah. like that. But I, but I the story that you're about to tell is about your mate, isn't it? No, it's about me. I'll just say it as it is. <laughs> Cocks out. Fuck it, okay. bro. I had. I did. Uh, an ungodly amount of LSD one night, right? And literally what's what you described. Can you just, so what's LSD, the what, what would DMT do? Are you sure you're okay saying this? 100%. It is what it is. What, now, what would DMT okay. do to this, you? The reason I say this is because I'm telling you that I had that experience in the yeah. sense that where I, I viewed my I life as like a show. I've told you this That's before, why I said right? ego. And it's mad that he said it. Yeah, exactly. Yes. So like yeah. I, I literally was viewing my life from above my yeah. whole entire life up until the moment that I was where I was at the time. And then I came back into my body. Like, it was the most fucked thing ever. Like, imagine, like, you are there, but you're looking down on yourself. Right? Yeah, it's about our body experience. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 and yeah. people say, people even say, like, funny you said near-death experiences. People say DMT is released, like, it's been measured in near-death experiences, in outer body experiences, like, when these kind of things, like, when because you're about a lot to of die. people say, this feels like death. I witnessed death. I yeah. saw death. I, I was in a room for I died. Death. In my head, I genuinely thought I had died. I was like, I've said this to Masan before. It was like, I wasn't here anymore. It wasn't me, and I was looking at me from an out of, out of perspective, right? It's just crazy because this links. Oh, I should have probably done this together. Bad planning on my behalf because I didn't think it was going to go this way. But this links directly into the near death experience talk, which, if you want to know more about, you watch the next episode. Next episode. But it links directly into this because there's so many talks about out of body experiences. Yeah. And that near death experience um, researcher is like the world leading, and he's got like thousands of people who've discussed their, their experiences and stuff as well. Yeah. So I, I've, yeah, I watched the whole podcast. You guys bro, I used to that, revise so. Erwin, fam. I used to go through, because I used to be like, bro, <laughs> this I, is why he didn't do well in uni, because he revised <laughs> on the wrong thing. <laughs> literally. But I was literally, I was literally like, I've read so many experiences after I had done my experience. I was like, this is so fucked. How do I explain this? Yeah. yeah. Bro, like so many people go through the same thing. And don't you find it crazy how some of these substances exist naturally on this planet? Oh, 100%. It's, and does that make you ever think Majority maybe God do. maybe like not to make this like yeah. fucked but at some point maybe like stoned ape theory at some point humans gained consciousness to an extent where it's like alright cool now away from Neanderthals a bit sure. more yeah and it could have just been man I'm getting higher bruv it could have literally just been finding a piece of mushroom a mushroom on the floor someone eating that and being like oh, yeah, 100%. seeing these deities and being oh. like that's what when I say I'm religious or not religious I yeah. say I think I'm religious. I believe in there being an out of body, out of out of our world experience because yeah. I feel like it's already around us. It's just that some things help us unlock that door, right? Yeah. But at the same time, I'm like, 
I don't think there is like, you know, in Hinduism, there's like a hundred million gods. I don't think in like, I just think everyone had the same experience as a collective body at one point and it's just changed over time. And that's just, that's just the way I see it. But what do you mean by everyone had the experience at the same time? I'm saying, no, no I'm saying like in the sense, like in the past, there yeah. might've been various people in various parts of the world yeah. that have fallen upon. Someone's like, oh, that's a mushroom. Let oh, me yeah, eat it. They're going to eat it. And yeah. if they eat it and that and happens, happens and they don't die, yeah. they're going to do it again. Yeah. And every experience is so unique that someone saw a <laughs> hundred fucking hands coming off a woman. Yeah. Someone saw um, a man in on a cloud in the sky. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, It could have yeah, been anything yeah, depending yeah. on what you're going through at the time. Right? The you're, you're mental. Yeah. yeah. So it's just, that's just the way I see it. Like, and it's just crazy. Like it's literally, it exists in your mind. I'm pretty sure in your pituitary gland, like uh, yeah. it secretes it. But when it's literally, you're, you're altering the chemistry of your brain and then your brain creates these visuals for you, yeah. which it's not external. And that's yeah. the thing to me more than anything that just, blows my mind because mm. you chuck on a VR headset yeah. you can experience the craziest stuff right I've seen yeah. videos of people on YouTube who basically recreate what it feels like to be inside a, a mushroom trip right mm. and they kind of obviously it's edit, still, it's edit. still different though. yeah yeah, no, they edit saying, with, yeah, yeah. I, I've seen one which everyone in the comments was like this is perfect like, oh okay okay yeah, show yeah. me that uh, <laughs> 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 okay. under the table <laughs> um, <laughs> but, um, <laughs> <laughs> but then um, but yeah just like it's, I don't know, that's to me it's just a crazy thing because it's, 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 it's it's literally your brain is doing it. Yeah. Which to me, obviously, is incomprehensible, but mm -hmm. that is obviously the whole point of a hallucinogenic. People say, like, it's it's how the mind, in when used at full potential, would naturally be. It's just the fact that society, fucking, like, um, human, human, the brain getting smaller over time, just, like, lack of knowledge and stuff. Into, like, that's why people say, like, that's how it's become. And that's how people say, like, when they, when they meditate, when they do yoga, these, like, spiritual exercises mm -hmm. you feel high even though you're not it's under a, the it's, influence it's, it's funny you, you say it's because obviously obviously i'm religious obviously i would never do any yeah. of this stuff right but when when you look back at <coughs> it's so funny because we were arguing about philosophy with harsh's girl before <laughs> we started this right Shout you. You, you know me by now i'm big on philosophy right <laughs> but you get people to us <laughs> you get people from the past who are so okay in in islam there's this thing called sufism right and they are basically the spiritualists of the religion and it's people like rumi who we've all heard of right rumi was a sufi right he was a he was a muslim and obviously a lot of people read his poems and stuff yeah. but they don't realize that it's actually from a religious perspective yeah. everything that he's saying is between is, is him and god. and god and yeah religion, people think right? it's about women it's yeah, not yeah like it's not women yeah. i read that actually but yeah. these sufis and you should probably research this because you probably find it really interesting right is that these sufis were the, basically the highest level of spirituality yeah. we believe in saints in our religion yeah. as well obviously depending on what your school of thought is or whatever but and they they speak of that spirituality that for lack of a better word that spiritual mm. high right mm -hmm. which just feels like it transports you to a different yeah. world when you reach it and that's where the whirling dervishes who obviously in, in turkey and that sort of ottoman culture who do the dancing and stuff like that's obviously linked to the sufis and they sort of use that whirling dervish dance if you know what I'm talking about, I want to say whirling dervishes. You no. know when like the, the, when they have those outfits on and the sort of Turkish and then they spin around. Oh and they yeah, dance yeah. And stuff yeah. Like that. yeah, yeah, yeah. And they sort of do that to to essentially increase their connection with God okay. and, and spirituality and things like that as well. So yeah, that whole spirituality side of things is um, is fucking. And crazy. obviously, these are people who never took drugs or anything like that. Right? Yeah. Obviously, the Muslims, etc. Yeah. But they felt, and obviously, I'm sure they didn't witness these things like DMT, duh. But it's just that principle of the spiritual high. Yeah. You can experience it by being purely present. internal and uh, nothing external, yeah. like a drug being given to you. But you, but reaching that, that level. we're talking about proper hippies, but reaching that, <laughs> and it, but this is legit shit. But reaching that level of consciousness and spirituality is. You can't do it as a normal person. No, it 100%. takes it takes a life of dedication. 100%. Like people like Imam Al Ghazali or Rumi or just these type of people who obviously if you're educated in history, Muslim or non Muslim, you would know about these people. It's it's it's, it's dedication. It's, it's, it basically it's impossible. Bro, I've literally had moments in my life when I I was like not to I'm not trying to compare to yeah, that yeah, situation. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I've literally been like this is the most beautiful feeling I have. Ever. I felt so free and so like, f like whole again, right? And I was like, 
this is worth chasing for the rest. Not like in terms of like getting oh, fucked every yeah, time, 100%, but like yeah. that feeling of that's why I was like, that I'm trying meditation. Is worth yeah. chasing. You're just yeah. trying to figure out the best way. Yeah, to do it, and I know for a fact that I'm not built for that unless I give up everything in my life. Like I can't just like walk out tomorrow and be like, you know what, I'm gonna fucking shave my hair, go to the monks and be like, J well, Shane, yeah, J Shane, yeah, <laughs> fraud, fraud, <laughs> come on the pod, come on the pod, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but oh, yeah like, I've, I've literally sat there and i'm like bro this is actually unreal and i'll never be able to do it but even just to taste that feeling that, that's why i've tried meditation and stuff in the past i'm like, saying we said this in the car that we're here we literally here, like, did. the really? man yeah. the man who worships nothing worships everything mm. right and it, and don't really like this guy anymore but jordan peterson talks about how you gotta like if you don't i mean it's not it's not uncommon principle anyway but like if you don't everyone worships something mm. right and if you don't worship god then you're going to worship something something else, yeah right and if you don't god in any form whatever you believe in just religion in general if you don't believe in that and you don't worship that you're going to worship realities you're going to end up worship worshiping your yeah, desires yeah, yeah and exactly. your temptations yeah and it's whether it's drugs whether it's alcohol whether it's women whether it's being lazy whether it's procrastinating whether it's video games whether it's uh, exercising whether it's anything you'll yeah. end up worshipping something yeah. but the reality and that's the whole I guess concept of God is that he is perfect yeah, uh, exactly, in yeah. all forms and so worshipping anything other than him is a failure it's, a failure, it's yeah. just not going to go well for you yeah so yeah it's so amazing it's sense. so amazing that you said that because it's like for a long time I was like alright cool I, I mean I grew up religious and then yeah. I got to a point in my life when I was like the things every kid has these thoughts right like the atrocities in the world how yeah. can there be a god but obviously you're immature you're young you don't understand it yeah but then like uni happened and i didn't know if i believed in god but i knew i believed in something and that's what that's kind of where i'm right now um in the sense that like i know i believe in a higher power yeah because some things in this world are just not explainable by words it's mm -hmm. just some feelings some thoughts just aren't it's not possible that's the way i see it so i'm like i know i believe in god but i feel like god is like i have i have like my own relationship oh everyone does yeah yeah like it's in some different yeah. yeah i guess like so would you guys say like obviously my question to you is considering your path is kind of i wouldn't say your path is laid down for you but in a sense that you you the have someone to pray to like yeah, you know yeah, who you're yeah, praying yeah, to yeah, yeah. do you think that adds like a level of structure for your life like it's like i know exactly what i'm I, meant to I be doing i think it links into in a the good fact way that if you don't worship anything if you yeah, don't that's why I'm asking. That, that's, yeah. It's a similar principle. Okay, yeah, fair. Yeah, yeah. makes sense. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like order. Yeah, yeah, order. Yeah. It's funny we've had this discussion. We had this discussion, with Rav. Oh, I wasn't there that day. Yeah, yeah. Is yeah. It? On, on yeah we had this discussion, yeah. with Rav, which is with, like my principal argument was, and okay, you can uh, disagree with this or you know, or agree. <laughs> or agree. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like the, just negative, right? <laughs> the idea is like you know before like let's just say like a certain period before religious superiority, like let's say before sure. Abrahamic religions really sure, started sure, popping, sure. Yeah. society in itself was anarchy. If you think about it, go back 4,000 years ago or 3,000 years ago. It's such a weird conversation because we believe in Adam and Eve. So yeah. it's such a weird conversation. I know. But I don't even know. I've, I've never really researched religion and caveman theory to understand because obviously we believe in Adam and Eve yeah. and they were here and then from there. So I don't that's what I've always I'm, I'm saying forget that yeah. I'm saying like in terms of societal structure there was no societal structure up to a point right and then it kind of bloomed in you can either point to whatever religion you want yeah. but without religion there's never all, been societal polytheist. structure mm. but do you think that's do you think that's society do you think that's because of religion or do you think that's because of human humanity? religion is like, society no I'm no, saying no, no, I'm saying like I'm in the sense that like before people even knew what like all right god like don't you think our primal instincts in terms of like pe being around people like would have kicked in before God. Like I'm mm -hmm. sure cavemen also travelled in packs, bruv. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, sure. but I'm just saying the argument of like order and yeah. like structure oh, to life okay, understood. Okay, is understood. like you can also look at wider society yes. and religion has also played its play yeah, yeah, into okay. actual oh, no, society. Because you're giving one common goal for yeah. all of society to yeah. work towards and to find in common place and everything. Literally what we just said. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's how what can I'm you give anything but, but order how, from that perspective? Where would you measure that from though? Because there's no... How would you even be able to say it has to be when religion started? Like, how do we know? Because I, I always bring up this argument, right? Like, what determines right or wrong? What determines right or wrong for you? 
It's religion. It's God. Because yeah, God is. It, this is like objective morality and all this. Mm. Kind of that's my I'm take. Not even and start and to go into, and you know, society is basically at least con- the country we're in. Society, they're based on. Guess what? They're based on basically Christian laws and rules, right? Yeah, Judeo-Christian. Judeo-Christian. Yeah, Europe. Yeah. Th- yeah, Europe. That's that's. Mm. Um, all the all of Europe is based on Ju- Judeo-Christian values. Yeah. Right. And yes. Yeah. I've kind of forgotten what your question was. <laughs> <laughs> I was just saying, like, how do we know that was before? How do we know it was before? Like, there was. How do we know there was? Yeah, structure before religion. Oh, how do we know there was structure before religion? Um, Are you right, brother? Are you okay? He's going through 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 my spiritual high. (laughs) Bro, the DOT. That's that's such a loaded question. They need to like. No, no, no. Not a loaded question in that sense. You get loaded I'm not trying to get an answer out of you. I'm genuinely just. Oh yeah, you're yeah. saying a heavy question. Yeah. Oh, it's, oh yeah. Okay, cool. I didn't mean like yeah. Okay, yeah. Fair. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, we ain't got like we ain't got. No, no, carry no. On I mean, it, I mean, how how do you know? I mean, I think I think it's pretty obvious, and it might not be obvious, but I feel like it's obvious. <laughs> that how, do how do they? How do we know the structure before religion? No, I'm no. I'm saying that it's pretty obvious in the sense of like, if you leave humans to themselves, it ain't gonna work out very well. And I feel like if you go look at People, and this is actually really interesting because uh, you know, um, there's an island, uh, Sentinel Island, <laughs> yes, yes, Sentinel Island, right, yeah. which is off like India or something like yeah. that, somewhere around of that course. area. <laughs> <laughs> it's technically off Pakistan, well, um, <laughs> but Indian Ocean. anything, yes. to, anything to blame them in it, yeah. <laughs> um, hell, but they, they've, I mean, I have no idea how they got there or whatever. They might be, um, landmass, bro, they might be, um, Pangea and that. <laughs> uh, no, they might be um, pop. Um, what are those guys uh, like Hawaii and that? What are they call again? Pop Polynesian. Polynesians. Polynesians, right? They might have been Polynesians because obviously the Polynesians from all those m- m- loads of islands. I think it's like forty. Don't ask me to name them. Fourteen <laughs> countries in uh, Oceania, <laughs> right? I couldn't <laughs> name them. Um, and then I feel like they, they obviously they island hopped a lot, and then that's how they got to Hawaii and stuff like that, right? So maybe maybe it's the ones on Sentinel Island are the same ilk, right? Same sort of heritage, but they. Yeah, have been they cannibals? Yeah, right. And they're on that island, and from where we're sitting, they are the definition of barbaric. Yeah, right. Irony. I'd like to say they're probably not that barbaric, to be honest. Right. It's all about perspective. But that, to me, when I think about it in relation to your question, is like if you leave humans by themselves without mm. without. But I don't think so. I don't know if they believe in God. I don't know if they have a concept of God. They very well may do in their yeah. own shape or form, right? Because they believe in peace. That's why they not peace in the sense that they protect their own peace. They kill anyone that comes. Yeah, there. right. Yeah. Um, I mean, what, how is that different from anyone putting army on the borders like you, Russia, Ukraine? The way I see it is, in principle, yeah. yeah. The, the way I see it is, I still think. Yeah, I mean, it's their own structure and laws to live. You're by. literally invading their land. But if everyone was like that, wouldn't it? But just, everyone is like that. No, I'm saying like if anyone, everyone fucking walked around in fucking chuddies and I'm like, all right, <laughs> let me shank you with a spear. But, but, but some, cause they, do they not do that? Go to the beach. Yeah. What are they wearing? They if anything, it's probably worse. Nude beaches exist. No, they no, at least no. wear clothes. No, 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 no I get that. Do you, <laughs> know, do you know what I mean? I mean, I mean, if everyone had that same society, the way I see it is like, oh, tr- I, I agree. If everyone had the same common goal, that's why the, Fucking fuck democracy, bro. Yeah, but then we're, <laughs> right, listen, we know government's trying to split the people and create division. We ain't gonna go into that, all right? But it's true though, because if, if everyone uh, had the same thing, if they, if society has one common goal and purpose, yeah, yeah, everyone will come together to fulfill that. Look yeah. at any village that you live in, 100%. right? I've been to Pakistan. I live in a village back there, right? I live in a slightly bigger village. But if you were to go to smaller ones, yeah, we got Ash Dykes on the bloody podcast. He yeah. went to the middle of Madagascar. Everyone in that village is working together to survive for same that village because yeah. they have one common goal. And in the same principle, God is in that sort of one common goal. Yeah. Yeah. That's why politics and governments today want to sp- divide and conquer yeah. because then that means that the more chaos there is within those areas, the more the governments can have the control. Exactly. So it's like, yeah, that's why, why do you think the world hates religion so much? Exactly. Like Jew- Jews, Christians, Muslims, are, they literally all follow the, basically the same religion yeah. if you follow them in their pure forms. It's the same Why thing, do you think, yeah. the, you know, trying to cause so much division between them because that's literally like freaking over 50 percent of the world yeah right so i mean it's crazy like the way i see it, that's exactly how i see it it's like if we would leave the planet faster so many things would happen so much quicker if we all had the same goal 
Oh, we'd all like be working it's... together without any problems. Yeah, without any And issues. if we had any problems, we know that we're working towards the same goals, so we would compromise. The same way you do within your own families. Yeah. You're all working towards the same goals. So even when you disagree or you have problems, yeah. you'll squash those problems and you'll keep to working towards out. the but, common but then, goal. But then it also it also brings about the, the point of at what point do you lose your your individuality and your personality because you're all the same. It's like imagine a hive mind society, right? Where everyone's doing the same thing, and it's just it's just the same person in different bodies, right? You must have seen like Rick and Morty here and there. Or something. Yeah, yeah, no, no, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Like I've seen Spider Man. Huh? I've seen Spider Man. Uh, oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, is that good? No, like, but the thing is, you would never. You like it's what I said. Like, even in a family, you have all your differences. You are your own people. Yeah. But you just compromise where you need to. to yeah. Work. Even though we do it here, we yeah, all disagree. Yeah, but the we difference is goals. like humans, innit? Yeah, humans are inbuilt like the. What do you mean? We're ingrained like, with that. In- ingrained yeah. with we're, like we're, you know, humans are passionate. That like they're not negotiable. Some people are too headstrong. It's just an impossible but then, thing. But with so I would argue that being allies. headstrong is because you're a product of your environment. Listen, this is my take on it. This and is always society. my this is always my take. Although on there it, okay? is some genetic stuff towards yeah, it, yeah, yeah, it gets exasperated if you hang around with those type of people, etc. So then, really, if you had the common goal to begin with, my bet I'd put my house and my life on it that you wouldn't become that type of person. You're basically saying communism, bro. I mean, you're I arguing mean, yeah. communism. You do know that, but, right? But but that's Karl Marx, Cause <laughs> socialism. Because like, because that's the only way to actually satisfy Explain that yeah, is if if I, everyone's same environment, everyone's really same. Quickly. Bro, everyone needs. I a, don't agree with communism. Yes, of course, of course we don't. All we need, everyone needs. What well, I, I agree is everyone needs a zoo. No, 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 no. That's <laughs> no Give it to the, the babies, answer, bro. No, disgusting. The answer. <laughs> there's one answer, okay, yes. and I can guarantee you, if you, if you want humans to unite. There's one way. Oh, he's solving world with peace right now. One way. I'm ready for this. Okay. Xenomorphs, aliens, bro. Alien oh, invasions. Yes. Everyone on the, the guy pl- who doesn't no. believe in bloody space. Everyone on the planet. Right. The guy who doesn't believe in the moon landing. Everyone. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> if, if aliens came to the planet, I can put you. I'll put any money right now. You think Ukraine and Russia are still warring? On They're Earth, if aliens war. came to Earth. Oh, we got China. Same shit. <laughs> What? They're going to take over the world the same thing. Everyone no, I'm so saying it has to be some extraterrestrial yeah, person. If they came and we're like, then everyone would be like, bro, F those green dots. Oh, you, really? 100%. you think so? Everyone hate, will so? hate on the I don't think Biden's going, going to try and strike a deal with them while everyone has got their back <laughs> No. I mean, that too, no, yeah. No, but have you seen no. The Arrival? No, I don't watch those movies. Have you seen The Arrival? Shit. Uh, what? Arrival sounds familiar. <laughs> space Dennis, Dennis, space Dennis, isn't real. Oh, I haven't seen that. Okay, well, that's... Don't spoil it, please. Well, then. I can't talk about it Three-body problem. Three-body problem. Yeah. An, an extraterrestrial threat is about it's impeding it's, it's about to happen yeah. it's, it's going to happen right that is the most that is the biggest excuse for people to come I, together I, I, like, should I tell you why I disagree because we have examples of that within this planet right now how how right look at yeah but you're missing the fact they're no, no, green no, no. bro no, no. <laughs> fuck's <laughs> off bleed green no. <laughs> if they're green because that principle of what you're saying I understand the principle of what you're saying I just vehemently disagree and mm. say that they would not come together because 100% like you said humans are greedy humans are selfish so like literally on my life Biden finna strike oh, a deal I have with a the point. aliens I have a point <laughs> everyone wants to go for them so it's the same way as if one country invades another for example Ukraine Russia but there are people within Russia who are working both sides. I have a point. I have a point. What if they are so far advanced, they don't even see us as a people that are, they see us as ants. Yeah. At what point do you go to an anthill and say, I'm going to make a fucking deal with you that don't crush you? It's Bro, true. You no, 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 no. Biden it. would make deals with them to say, I will help you destroy these what, lot quicker. What if, the right, alien, what if the alien is like, Biden, what is a Biden? Okay, You're sure, all the sure. same to me. Sure, sure, You're all the same. To- sure, sure. Bro, there's, there is a, and in the three body problem, what happens is, spoiler, spoiler alert. alert. Uh, spoilers. Spoiler alert. Yeah, don't, don't, don't say it. It's the still out. No, no, no I need to watch it. No, 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 what is show. it? It doesn't happen it's in the teacher. show. It's oh, not okay. in the show. Sorry, sorry. Wait, but there's going to be more seasons. Yeah, it's in the book, bro. It's in, it's you're spoiling the book? <laughs> a long day for them? No, no, no. no what? A long day for me as well, bro. Uh, brother, please. No, it's no, so no. It's so good. No, shut uh, Basically, to be fair, it's not actually a spoiler for the show. Shut it's up. not actually a spoiler. <laughs> shut up. Okay, we get your point. We get your point, though. Okay, let me ask you a question. And depending on that, we can actually answer this question. Right. In the three body problem, from your knowledge of it, yeah. when aliens are coming to Earth, right? Yeah. When do you think they're arriving? According to oh, them? like hundred years or something. Okay, that's fine then. Okay. So exactly what happens? So people think aliens are coming for the first fifty years. All they're doing is war, bruv. All mm. they're doing is beefing each other. After that, they realize fifty years later, we've now fucking killed each other. There's still a fucking threat. Mm. What are we doing now? Yeah. So then it's like you know, there's a chance that people come together, make make um, 
I, I understand what you're saying. And I, I in, in principle, I don't disagree because obviously it's a very zoomed out question, yeah, right? It's hard to understand. It's because, it's, again, it's common goal. Yeah. So obviously if I disagree with that, I'm going against what I said earlier. Yeah. But 100%, if there was like a, a threat so large that, like you're saying, they're so advanced, yeah. then yeah, the world would unite to, to destroy them. But all I'm saying is that it obviously wouldn't be a perfect... Uh, unity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even within that unity, there would be plenty of people faking that unity for their own selfish gain. I mean, yes. So, so which, which again, even in religion, right? Even in the most perfect of times, yeah, there will still be those who, you know, have their own selfish desires, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and go under the facade of being religious. Yeah. But really, the temptation through the devil is taking them it's, away yeah. from that. Does that with or without their knowledge? Does that ever make you think that we are? Like we already know as humans that we are the worst thing that could have happened to this planet, right? Like no. global, but okay, going. What are you gonna say? I was gonna say at least we can walk in it. <laughs> <laughs> at least you can walk in it. What a dolphins gonna do, bro? The colony can use most of the land. He can barely walk. <laughs> like, what are dolphins gonna do, bro? They're gonna be swimming and raping each other. Yeah. We do that too. Mute that. <laughs> we literally do that. True. Too. That's true. Yeah. What? What? Does that ever make you think that like we are? Like, nah, we are an accident that shouldn't have happened. Nah, bro. We're the superior species. You, like, obviously, we think that, no, right? As humans, we do think that we are the superior species. Yeah, of but, course we are. Yeah, but does it ever make you think that, like, if this was power, if this sentience and this, like, I, I wouldn't call it a power, but this consciousness was yeah. given to another species, do you think we, they would have done the same thing that we No, did? because they weren't made for it. <laughs> <They're> not, <laughs> but uh, are you saying... Like, they're not they're built for it. Yeah. Because obviously, we're built... Fine. Different. We're perspective. built. Different. <laughs> We're built. Different. We're built Come at us, aliens. <laughs> We're built for the purpose of being the superior species. Yeah, you green bastards. And then <laughs> <laughs> what is true? You want to be shining on this TV screen in Pakistan, yeah. losing England today? <laughs> <laughs> Bloody green bastards! <laughs> <laughs> All right. But obviously, we're made for the purpose of being the superior species. But that's species. your religion, though. Yeah. But so it's kind of hard. To, yeah. yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. Honestly. But because no, because the thing is, if another species, the other, other species don't have the they weren't made to have the level of consciousness we have hence why they are without. so if you were to just pick up our consciousness and yeah. throw it in their body it that's, would be a mismatch but that's now right that's not because of like say we evolved into that sure right? okay so, so say it was dolphins have twice the size of brains that we yeah do. yeah yeah so if they grew legs if they <laughs> fucking grew legs if they grew legs if aerial they grew thumbs, legs, legs. And thumbs. Yeah, posable thumbs and basically that. this has all been a sponsored segment for the new Planet of the Apes movie <laughs> yeah so <laughs> now we have Andy Serkis welcome yeah. and that's why <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah fair I mean I get that that's it. it's a it, I guess in the cinemas. way you see it, <laughs> in cinemas now, bro. Now. <laughs> I guess, I guess, yeah, I see that. That's where the religion comes in. Right, Empire like, Cinema is not near you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right. Well, that was a like that, that was a pretty deep deep jump into that. But um, yeah. yeah, I mean, that's uh, I think that's the episode. I really finished. Yeah, seventy Cinemas. minutes. We cool. didn't bring topics, so that works great. Yeah, I knew one. Your mind were longer ones. So, <laughs> I knew one longer ones. so yeah, that, that was nice, man. I like that co that conversation. There we go. And we'll, we'll get into near death experiences on the next one. I wanted Calm. Jay here more for that one. Come, um, but yeah. So and he's always on the verge of death. Hundred <laughs> percent. Thank leave you. All. Yeah, leave a like if you missed Jay. Leave a like. Well, uh, we no will leave this. a dis. Oh, fuck. No, leave a like <laughs> and and leave a like if you missed him and if you didn't miss him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, thank you all for tuning in to a brand spanking new episode yeah, yeah. of Atypical. We'll catch you on the next one. Thank you all for the support. Subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. Follow us, and uh, yeah, we'll catch you on the next one. Take care. In a bit. <laughs>